Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat and all the time we get asked, can I integrate my tap hot water with my floor heating system or my hydronic heating and cooling system? And the fantastic news is that yes, of course you can. So today we're out at one of our projects where we have tap hot water integrated. And at this particular project, we have a heat recovery heat pump which is doing not only floor heating and air conditioning heating, but also floor cooling and air conditioning cooling, uh, heating the pool, heating towel rails, and connected to the solar power. So what that means is that we all year round can generate hot water super efficiently with our heat pump. So either, let's say in winter, uh, the heat pump is generating three kilowatts of heat from every one kilowatt of electrical input, uh, and if you compare that to an electric hot water heater, which looks similar to this, um, that has a, an electric element in there and it converts one kilowatt of input electricity into about 0.99 kilowatts of heat energy. So the efficiency is 99%, whereas the efficiency of the system we have here is at least 300%. Uh, so it's a really efficient way of generating hot water for your, uh, for your house. And at this particular one, we actually have a, a bonus where we recover heat. So in a typical house where you have an air conditioning system, inside it's blowing out cold air, but outside, if you walk past the condenser unit outside, it's blowing out hot air. So instead of rejecting that heat into the atmosphere, what we do is we reject it into here, uh, the hot water tank and also into the pool. And that way we have free uh, hot water, tap hot water heating and free pool heating. So at this particular project, there is also a, a ring main running off this hot water tank. And what a ring main is, is it's a loop uh, of uh, hot water distributed around the house, which means that you don't have to wait so long for the hot water to come out of the tap and you don't waste water uh, when, say, the hot water tank is on the other side of the house to where your tap is. Let's say if you have some bathrooms on the other side of the house. So at this house, there's two really important things that we had to uh, help the, the installing water plumber and the owner uh, develop. And that is that one, they had the ring main running 24 hours a day. So even when everyone was asleep, there was water traveling across the house. So what we did is we integrated this into our system and we only turn the ring main on during peak demand times because the ring main is basically serving bathrooms. So that's for a few hours in the mornings when everyone's showering and then again a few, for a few hours in the evening when uh, everyone's showering when they come home from school or from work. And so that means that there's not uh, heat losses through this ring main throughout the whole house 24 hours a day. So you save energy. And the second part that's really important and that was actually lacking a little bit of this one but which did get fixed up was that uh, the, ring, the hot water ring main was not very well insulated. And so what that means is even if the pipe is inside and in a cupboard or in uh, the ceiling space, even if it's not insulated, and, but it's inside, it's still giving off heat. It might not be a whole lot of heat, like if it was outside or buried in some concrete, it's going to give off a lot of heat or transfer a lot of energy. But even inside in internal spaces, it's a waste of energy and it can be counterproductive. Say in summer, you're trying to cool the house down, but this ring main, is basically effectively heating the house and you want to avoid that. So what happened was that the, the plumbers came in and they added insulation as, as they should. Uh, and so that you know, dramatically helps reduce the hot water heating bills. And so with these hot water tanks, you can either have them inside like we have here, or you can have them outside. We prefer to have them inside because you have uh, lower temperature losses from, or, or fewer temperature losses from the tank. Uh, even though the tanks are insulated, so this tank has 50 millimeters of polyurethane uh, foam around the actual hot water cylinder. So even though it is insulated, you still do get heat losses from it, especially outside where the temperature varies a lot. So especially in winter where it's cold, it could be five degrees in the middle of the night or early morning. Uh, and that means that there's a greater rate of heat loss, whereas inside it's 20 degrees, you know, pretty constantly. Um, so there's not as much heat loss from the tank. And as always, if you'd like help with integrating tap hot water with your hydronic heating or cooling system, give us a call at Euroheat and we'd be happy to have a quick 15 minute chat with you to see how we could best integrate tap hot water into your system.